Hi everybody, I am Phoenix and I'm going to be sharing just a little bit of information um, that I once read in a book called Conversations with God, I believe it was book two, um, by Neil Donald Walsh. Very good series of books. Um, and basically it's this guy that just asks himself, himself questions and then answers those questions using the tutor within, the intuition or the God within, so to speak. So conversations with God. But really it's just kind of like meditations. And whether it's actually from God or not isn't the point. The point, you know, is the wisdom and the knowledge that is in this book. And it has value in it regardless. Um, he touches on a lot of things. You know, everything in life and love and loss. But one thing I found interesting was his, uh, his take on the devil and the creation of the devil and Christianity and how it all came about. So I'm just going to impart quickly the basic idea. It was a long time ago that I read this, but I'll, I'll give you my best. So originally there was a matriarch, all right? So women ruled because women were more perceptive than man. Yin was more in tune with nature and so could move harmoniously with the flow of the winds of change. Whereas man would be delegated tasks and whatnot, whether it be hunting or whether it be building, you know what I'm saying? And that's the way it worked for a long time. Oh, and, and of course, providing sex, good sex, preferably. I think that's, that's a, an age old thing. Women wanted good sex. And back then when women ruled the whole place, I'm sure that they worked hard to have it their way. So because of that, naturally there would have been a few guys that were jealous a few guys that weren't the best looking or the best in bed or the strongest and the fittest who could hunt and kill and feed their their women and their families or who could build and build and move heavy objects and these people became bitter and they thought okay how are we gonna rectify the situation how are we going to change this? I, I don't accept that I'm a subordinate simply because I don't fit in with you know, what these people are looking for. So they came up with an idea. Let's create the idea of an enemy that is so evil that it doesn't matter how much unconditional love you give it, which is what the women were all about, it was all about unity and harmony and love. They said, you know, make it make the idea of this this evil figure who's so evil it doesn't matter how much you try to give it love and care and appreciation, it won't come around and it won't budge and it will just always pervade. And so is the notion of the devil, the, the character created according to this book and this person's perception from fiction. And this fiction was used then to instill fear into the hearts of all the men and women of the community, of the tribe or whatever. And so the men then said, well, if we have this entity that is so evil that the feminine cannot control the situation or resolve this problem and you know, keep it in control, then we're gonna need a male presence, a masculine force to keep it in check. All right, and that's when the matriarch started to slip into the patriarch that we now live in now. And Christianity was born and temples were raised. All right, and for people to worship this idea of God and Jesus and the devil, or against the devil, I'm not worshiping the devil. Maybe there were a few, but whatever. And that's the basic idea of the book, that originally he was created as a way of male, for males to create a sense of insecurity in people. And then once he's created that perception of a problem, he can come in, there's a knight in shining armor and say, well, now we have a place and fix the problem and, and gain equal footing f with the woman, at which point he puts his foot on her and pushes her back down below him. So now that she is subordinate. And I thought that was an interesting perception interesting idea and I thought it was worth sharing wherever it holds true wherever it applies I guess it's up to you to research and decide
Thank you. Oh, 